Welcome to Slow American English, the podcast for learners of American English. I'm your host, Karen Tolliver. This is episode number 58, Higher Education in the USA. Before we begin, I have a couple of announcements. One, please take the Slow American English survey. Your answers will help make the podcast better. Visit www.slowamericanenglish.net and click the link to the survey questions. Every answer is valuable. To read some of the survey results so far, visit www.patreon.com slash slowamericanenglish. Two. Podcast patrons can learn English faster. If you are not a patron, please consider becoming one. Choose from four levels, each with valuable monthly rewards. I recommend level two as the best level for the money, which is $10 a month. But if that's too much for your budget, Level 1 for English learners might be right for you. For $5 per month, you get a PDF file with three exercises you can use with the recording or the transcript to improve listening and reading comprehension, a free Slow American English workbook, a chance to win private English lessons with me including a personal learning plan, and a monthly live discussion of each podcast episode via Skype. Practice your English in a real-world conversation. This month's discussion date, Tuesday, 22 October 2019, at 9 a.m. U.S. Mountain Time, GMT-6. Patrons, you must notify me via email, info at slowamericanenglish.net, by Monday, 21 October 2019, at 5 p.m. U.S. Mountain Time, GMT-6, to let me know you will attend the live discussion. If you cannot attend because of your time zone, I can schedule an additional session if there are enough participants. So please visit patreon.com slash slow American English and become a patron today. Remember, all your contributions help me continue to bring this podcast to you. Now for the podcast. I've already told you about the school system for kids in the U.S. in episode 28. Today, I will describe the optional higher education system, also called post-secondary education system, which comes after high school. This higher education system in the USA isn't regulated by the federal government. Because of this, there are many types of schools, such as public, private, small, large, religious, secular, urban, suburban, rural, and online. Most Americans use the word college to mean university, although there is actually a difference. A university is a collection of smaller colleges. Each college focuses on a specific area of study. There can also be standalone colleges that aren't part of a university. Universities usually also offer master's and doctorate degrees. Good schools are usually accredited or approved by an official association to make sure they meet a minimum standard. Accreditation also means a student's degree is recognized as valid by other schools and employers. More vocabulary. Major. Main area of study for undergraduates. Students can change their major multiple times until the third year. Minor. Second area of study for undergraduates 
requiring fewer classes. Campus, the physical area of a college. Dormitory or dorm, housing for students. If a student lives on campus, he or she lives in a dorm. Ivy League, informal phrase for a group of prestigious colleges such as Harvard. Tuition, fees paid to the college for classes, does not include dorm expenses, books, or meals. Freshmen, students in their first year of undergraduate study. Sophomores, students in their second year of undergraduate study. Juniors, students in their third year of undergraduate study. Seniors, students in their fourth year of undergraduate study. Community college, a smaller local school offering a two-year associate degree. Many colleges require a student to take a standardized test before starting a four-year program. The most well-known such test is the Scholastic Aptitude Test, usually called the SAT. Levels of Post-Secondary Study 1. Undergraduate students work toward a four-year bachelor's degree. The first two years are usually general classes like literature, science, and history. Each class earns the student course credits. Students can complete these courses at a community college, then transfer the credits to a four-year school. 2. People with bachelor's degrees might want to get a master's degree. They need to take the GRE test, graduate record examinations, first. A university usually also has a master's program in addition to the colleges for undergraduate degrees. Master's degrees usually require about two years of courses and a thesis, which is a long research paper. Three, after a master's, some students want to continue their education and get a doctorate or PhD. This requires three or more years of courses and research, plus a dissertation, which is the doctorate research paper. College is very expensive. Many students get scholarships, grants, or student loans to help pay for it. A scholarship is money from an organization or school given to the student based on academic or sports performance. Grants are government money given based usually on low family income or other factors. Either the government or financial institutions can lend money for education. Scholarships and grants don't have to be paid back, but student loans do. Many people graduate with heavy student loan debt, which is a big problem. Some state universities offer free or reduced tuition programs. New York State recently became the first to offer free tuition for a full four-year or two-year program that isn't based on academic performance. Other states offer similar programs, but they have more requirements. That's the podcast for this time. Slow American English is written and produced by Karen Tolliver. Copyright 2019. All rights reserved. For a free transcript, And to subscribe to the podcast, visit www.slowamericanenglish.net. You can also subscribe via any podcast app or feed reader. Theme music is written and performed by S.W. Campbell and used by permission. Find more music by this artist at www.soundclick.com slash S.W.C.A.M.P. B-E-L-L. This has been Slow American English. I'm Karen Tolliver. Thank you for listening. <laughs>